I woke the next morning with what felt like a lizard in my throat. Mimicking me right now as I record this. I was already up, shuffling through her school bag with an enigmatic grin. The first day of school. Hana! Hana! You're finally awake! That fucking stung my ear a little. Her voice sliced through the air like a knife, and I winced. She was definitely a morning person. It's the time for the first day of school! Aren't you excited? I can't wait to see what's gonna... I can't wait to see what's gonna happen. What do you mean? Is something special happening today? <laughs> <laughs> something strange always happens on the first day of school. That is true. Especially to someone like you. That is true. She winked. What? Someone like me? Uh -huh. You know what I mean. She smiled and started messing with a pile of papers on her desk. Shaking my head, I got out of bed and pulled my uniform out of my closet. My palms sweaty uh, as I... My palms sweat as I held the golden vest and blue jacket. Was it really possible for things to be different here than they were at home? What was... What was... Bleh, bleh, bleh. What if the problem wasn't actually the school? I shook the thoughts out of my head and changed into my uniform. Oh! Hmm? What is it? You look oh. so cute! Really? She does. I gotta admit, she does look nice in that uniform. The colors complement her her hair. Even though I know she doesn't like think, thinking about that. Even though I know she's a fucking virtual character! Uh, really? He crept up my neck. Yeah. yeah, completely. Your hair matches your uniform so well. That is exactly what I said by you. You girl know what I am thinking. Oops, I did not mean to click that. You're like a flower blooming straight from the ground. <laughs> Thank you. You're so nice. Oh, that face. Water stung in the back of my eyes. I turned to start packing my backpack. Why was I getting worked up about something as little as that? I must have gotten less sleep than I thought. Is something wrong? No, no, nothing's wrong. I'm just happy. How dumb was I? I started crying at the first sight of someone being nice to me. Oh, Hana! I took a deep breath to steady my nerves. <laughs> what an oddly menacing laugh. Thought <laughs> all the air left my uh, lungs as something like horse hooves slept into the, my back. <laughs> You'll do just fine. Don't worry, this is gonna be awesome! I stiffly peered over my shoulder. That. That was you. That, that, like. What? That anime face, though. That anime face, though! What? Huh? Mai stood behind me, her hand raised. Somehow, she had the strength of a bodybuilder. <laughs> Nothing. Just don't fucking hurt me. <laughs> I was just about to zip up my bag when I spotted the book Satch gave me lying on my nightstand. The Princess Betrothed. He said that I could take it if I ever needed to be transported somewhere far away. I could take it with me. It was pretty good so far. Maybe it would be smart to bring something along in case I had no one to talk to between class periods. Would I need it for my first day of class? Uh, if it was me, I'd totally fucking take a book. Uh, honestly, I would take my phone or like a Game Boy or not Game Boy, fucking PS. What is this, 1980s? So yeah, take it. I put it into my already overfilling bag, biting my lip. It never hurt to be prepared, right? You ready? Yeah, yeah let's go. <laughs> Stick with me and you'll be fine. Mai opened the door and together we stepped into the hallway, merging into a steady flow of chattering girls and fruit-flavored perfume. Oh my, Mai, I didn't know we lived on the same floor. No way, really? That's so awesome. Now I'll be able to catch up with whatever happens between you and... The river of girls shifted as we headed down the stairs. Suddenly, I found myself surrounded by a bunch of people I didn't know. What a jerk. Oh wow, what a jerk he turned out to be. Mai's exclamations faded into the buzz of voices in the air. Oh no, what would I do if I got separated? Oh my god, Hana. Anxiously, I searched the crowd of girls for Mai, but I couldn't find her. Everyone was dressed in the same Asagao uniform. It was difficult to tell anyone apart, and being so short really didn't help the situation. So she's short. Okay, it's good to know that my character is short. As we turned the last corridor down the stairwell, I saw a flash of red hair and a little ways in front of me. Mai? I reached between two girls and tapped her on the shoulder. Huh? Who the fuck is this bitch? Oh, um... <clears throat> who are you? The girl flashed. Uh, the girl's eyes flashed, almost like a jolt of electricity shot through them. Um, I I'm sorry, I thought you were someone else. She said nothing and turned away before I knew it. 
I stood outside Primrose House, watching the flow of girls disperse across the campus. Mai was nowhere to be seen. Couldn't even hear her chirpy voice. Oh, man. I took a deep breath, biting my lip. This wasn't a big deal. I could get to class alone. But I didn't even know where the building was. Jesus. Didn't fucking Mai give you a tour? Oh, no, she didn't. I reached into my backpack and dragged out my class schedule. Homeroom 206 Poppy Hall? Which one was Poppy Hall again? Weren't the classrooms on the other side of campus? I picked the direction and began to walk, trying to ignore my rising panic at the thought of arriving late on the first day of class. As a third year where no one knew me, all the people staring. Hey! Hey! You okay? It's John! It's John! <laughs> Someone called out to me. I turned around, almost jumping for joy. When I froze. A normal boost jacket. He was part of the normal boost club. You keep meeting famous people! Um, I could practically feel my tongue swelling in my mouth. If this was a normal boots club member, I had to make a good impression. He was one of the founders, right? Then he must be JonTron. Um, yes, I I'm new. I don't know where Poppy Hall is. You're a freshman? No problem. My class is in Poppy Hall. I'll walk you there. Really? Really? That would be wonderful. Thank you. Is this really happening? He began to walk towards a large brick building in an enthusiastic manner, pumping his arms up and down like he was some... Some kind of show tube. I fell into step behind them. I think that's like a reference to his intro. To Tron Tron's intro. I I might just be full of shit though. I didn't notice it when Maya pointed him out to me yesterday, but John Tron had big brown eyes and a warm looking face. That is true. He was basically a human puppy. Oh that's adorable. I wonder how much like how many fucking Twitter Twitter messages uh, John gets of that after this game came out. I glanced up at him out of the corners of my eyes. <laughs> a bird. A bird on his shoulder. <laughs> that would be Jock. Birds always made me uncomfortable. Something about the ease with which they could poke someone's eye out. Is something wrong? Why did you stop? Uh, no, nothing's wrong. He followed my gaze to the bird on his shoulder. Hey. Oh, this is Jock. Isn't he cute? Nice to meet you. <laughs> it's... It's... It's Spo? <laughs> yeah. He put his hand to his shoulder and Jock jumped into his palm. Oh, that's adorable. Jock is a robot bird, see? Hello. Jock's eyes gleamed the dangerous red while he spoke, but nothing else suggested that he wasn't the normal bird. In fact, if I hadn't known any better, I said the red in his eyes were painted on. <laughs> Shots fired at video editing. That's amazing. Jock uh, twitched his head to his side, examining me in return. The more he looked at me, the less afraid I was. What are you looking at? What? Oh, what? Nothing, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, Jacques can be a little saucy, sassy. Who are you calling sassy? I'm not the sassy one. I don't forget to feed you. <laughs> That's amazing. Jacques, that was one time! I was alone and starving in the frozen tundra of this empty world, loveless, afraid. <laughs> I love Jock. <laughs> I love Jock. What do I need to do to bang him? Well, I know what I need to do to bang him. <laughs> Ignore him. I've been bringing him with me to drama class, and he's taken a little too well to it. I see how this is. Shut me out, uh, out like I have nothing to add to the conversation. Jacques retook his place on John's shoulder, this time facing away from us as if biffed. <laughs> we resumed our walk towards Poppy Hall. Jacques, why are you so bay? Fucking bird. Ah, uh, this is bringing back memories to Hataful. I'm John Tron, by the way. Call me John. <laughs> Hannah, nice to meet you. Oh. Hannah, that's a cute name. Uh, thank you. So how long have you had Jock? Since middle school. We've been together for four years now. Ain't that right? I am not listening. <laughs> I love Jock. Yeah, well. I love him to death. I don't know what I would do without him. It seemed like life would be a lot easier without him, but who was I to say? We arrived at the brick building, a white sign surrounded by poppies, declared uh, it to be, unsurprisingly, Poppy Hall. Which room are you in? Uh, room 206. Really? really? Seriously? Yes. That's my homeroom, we're in the same class. <laughs> John laughed and clasped me on the shoulder. Wonderful, I guess we'll be seeing more of you then, right? Yeah, yeah right. Together we entered Poppy Hall. Poppy Hall was lined with fluorescent right, uh, lights and an Asagao blue walkers. Black of students milling around the hallways indicated that we were a bit late. 
<coughs> we ran up the stairs and made it to the classroom just as the bell rang. My heart caught in my throat. Thankfully, the teacher hadn't come yet. Instead, students clamped in tight pods and milled around the classroom, catching up on vacation news. John! Thank you so much for showing me to my classes, John! Uh, see you later. See you later. No problem. I'll see you around. <laughs> I fucking... That's like... I, I swear that I'll see you around is like gonna be a meme by the end of this. He waved and dispersed into the wriggles of masses. Into the wriggling mass of students. I glanced around the room looking for an empty seat. Hana! My peeled herself out from between the cuddling cu uh, between a cuddling couple. Was that Jontron? Were you just talking to Jontron? <laughs> yeah. My eyes, my eyes widened. I couldn't help but feeling a little smug. <laughs> I realized I didn't know my way to class after you and I got separated, but he offered to walk me. <laughs> my oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking squee. Maya emitted a high pitched pre pressure, a highly pressurized squeal. John Tron walked you to class? Oh my gosh, you have to tell me everything! <laughs> she grabbed me by the wrist and pulled me to an empty desk in the back of the corner of the room, right next to a window. I saved you a seat! I slid, slid and took off my backpack, holding it to the side of my desk. I was a little worried the books inside were too heavy to, uh, for the bag to handle, but so far it held up well. Um. Sorry we got separated, by the way. I can, it can get a little chaotic sometimes. So tell me, what happened? What did he say? What did he smell like? Does he have peach fuzz? Is it rough? Wait, what? These are very important questions I'm asking. You need to answer them. Was his hair silk, uh, super silky, or did it have the roughness of a dog's coat? Before I could answer, the door to the front of the room slid open, and a tall woman strode in. The class went uh, quiet and obediently slid into their seats. My heart beat furiously, blood rushing through my ears. Class? Class. Good morning, class. The teacher's melodious voice sw uh, swam through the room, calming the buzzing of high... Calming the buzzing high of students back from break. My shoulders relaxed, and my fear ebbed away. I am your teacher, Suzuka Wa Wakashio... Uh, Shua. <laughs> Japanese Sejuka Wakahisha 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 Sejuka Wakahisha You can call me Miss Sejuka The emphasis she placed on the word word Miss led me to believe that calling her Mrs. wouldn't be taken lightly some of you might have noticed that we have a new student in this semester. A hail of murmurs passed through the class. Some people glanced at me. Nope, there was the fear again. Mm -hmm. Would you like to come up and introduce yourself? I nodded, stood, and slowly walked to the front of the room, counting my steps to make sure I wouldn't fall. Who the fuck counts their steps? I faced the class, took a deep breath in order to introduce myself, and noticed a familiar face in the crowd. There was John sitting to two other boys wearing normal Woods Club jackets. One of the boys, the tallest one, I assumed that would be Austin, was staring at me, the barest of frowns on his face. Something about him seemed really familiar. Wait, he was PVG, wasn't he? The other founder of the Normal Boots Club. Suddenly, all the strength left my knees. What should I do? Why was he frowning? Was it possible that I already made a bad impression on him? Oh, ah. You gotta be kidding me. Yes, you gotta be kidding me, Hana! Fucking have some confidence, girl. If he didn't like me, then what did that mean about everyone else? When did they follow his lead? I swallowed. The faces of the class began to think and chill, forming one giant blob. You moved from Amin Risu, right? I nodded and swallowed again. Then, like a beacon of light, I noticed my, uh, my smiling and giving me a thumbs up. That's right. What would my do in this situation? Yes, yes uh, I've just moved here. My name is Hana Mizuno. I transferred from Amin Jesus fucking Christ, that anime ass voice. I'm really excited to be here. I hope you'll all take good care of me from now on. Oh my god, she's so freaking waifu. She's so kawaii. I bowed my head to the class and they clapped politely. Oh, that's adorable. When I looked up, PBG wasn't frowning, but he still seemed oddly confused. Maybe he always looked like that. Thank you. He may be seated. Uh, I returned to my seat heaving a small sigh. The hardest part of the day was over. 
Shizuka started talking about standard procedure for the semester, the rules of the class, when homework was due, that sort of thing. It was all very similar to my old school, and I spaced out in spite of myself. A brief flicker of movement caught my eye. PVG again. I glanced at him, and his head snapped back to the billboard. What was his problem? Hmm? I don't know, you tell me. Class continued on like that until finally the bell rang and it was time for lunch. Mm. Uh, my stretched her arm over her head and yawned. Man, I hate the first day of class. It's always so boring. Weren't you looking forward to it this morning? Something about that exciting things happening? Well, yeah, but it already did. You met John John, didn't you? <laughs> Fucking Jesus. I've got nothing left to look forward to. She sighed. <laughs> I was hoping to see Jared before class, too. She slouched and fell across the front of my desk. It seemed like this would be happening a lot. Is Jared really that hot? My uh, snapped back up, her eyes flashing. What did you say? I, uh... You stared directly at him for too long. Your nose will melt off. I've seen it happen. What? <laughs> what? I think that's like a, a joke about anime, about like the fucking nosebleed things. Anyways, let's head to lunch. I'm super hungry. Oh, okay. Let's let's not address the fucking nose melting thing. I looked at my backpack. <clears throat> it held up well through class, but I worried that if I didn't take some stuff out of it now, I might do some permanent damage to it, especially with Satch's book in there. I couldn't exactly afford a new backpack. I need to put some things in my locker first. But if we don't go now, they'll run out of sesame seed buns. Uh, I've never been a huge fan of, uh, sesame seed, particularly. I've liked, uh, poppy seed. Poppy seed's decent. Oh. That's okay, I'll just go ahead. Come find me, okay? Alright! I was so lucky to have somewhere like her as her roommate. Yes. Yes, I guess. Quickly as I could, I went to my locker and shoved the books inside. A good, a good, as good a book as it was, I was infinitely happier that I had my around so I didn't have to read it. Without her, I wouldn't know what to do with myself, especially with PVG staring at me like that. Maybe I could ask, uh, ask her what was up with him when I met her at the cafeteria. It might just be the way he was. Cheered, I head to the cafeteria. <clears throat> I carried my melon bread. That's a Japanese thing. I know that's 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 a Japanese thing, because I know um, I know Chinese things. In Chinese, uh, it's very common to have like sweet food in the morning. So like like in particular, there's one like Chinese pastry that I have a lot in the morning. It, it, it's like a bun, but it's filled with cream and it's covered with uh, co shredded coconut. It's fucking delicious. If you like ever go to a Chinese market and you see those things. Fucking buy them! They are so good! And, and, they, and they make a good breakfast as well. Um, melon bread through the minefield of people searching for the now familiar sight of Mai's red hair. Where is she? I couldn't see her anywhere, and there were almost no empty seats. All around me, students circled each other, laughing and joking, sharing bites of food and splitting the cost for sodas. Suddenly, I felt very ob obvious and very alone. Isn't there anywhere I could sit? <clears throat> Just then, I spotted a table in front of the room. <laughs> Fucking brutal moose. A lone boy sat at it, stabbing his spaghetti with the ver uh, vigor of a Roman general. He, had, he was having a hard time with it. I moved closer to him, working up the courage to ask to sit with him. Well, no wonder he was eating his spaghetti with a spoon. <laughs> Wait a second. That guy was in my class, wasn't he? I saw him this morning in the front of the room. That fucking uh, hidden block club, club jacket. He was wearing a jacket like the normal Wiz Club, but different. A golden gray jacket with an 8-bit lock on the front. Was he a member of another club? Or maybe he was friends with him? Hey! Hey, what? Hana! Oh, my! My um, appeared between me and the boy who glanced up at us before returning to a spaghetti. Thank goodness I found you. I saved the table for you in the back. Oh! I looked at the boy and then back to uh, my. Come on! She grabbed me by the shoulder rather forcefully and pushed me to the back of the room. Hey, what's wrong? Wow. You are so lucky I got here when I did. That kid's Bruno Moose. His real name is Ian. He's from the Hidden Block Club. The Hidden Block Club? <laughs> yeah, they're the rival of the normal boots. He's really weird. I mean, she looks around. 
make sure no one was listening in, but we were completely alone in our little corner of the cafeteria. He speaks in comic sans. <laughs> Undertale intensifies. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, it'd be better to stay away from him. Especially since you've already got to know some of the normal boots guys. What are you talking about? I only just met John today. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. I saw the way PBG was staring at you. He, like, totally likes you. Really? really? <laughs> is, that what you th is that what you thought it was? <laughs> Either Mai was blind or she had a serious case of wishful thinking. I'm pretty sure it's the latter. Oh, totally! It was so cute! Just like my favorite manga! You meet in high school, fall in love, and then you go fight aliens together! That's amazing! I, I don't think that's gonna happen. Have some faith in yourself! That's totally what's happening! So, now that you got in with VVG, can you introduce me to Jared? Oh, was that what she was getting at? A hot flash of doubt sees me. Was it possible that I only liked me because I knew the normal moods, guys? This couldn't be the case, though. She was so nice! Still, looking at her shining, eager face, I couldn't talk myself out of the idea. Uh, I actually thought PVG didn't like me. What? What? <laughs> Why would you think that? Well. He was glaring at me. Man, you just don't understand. It's a love triangle. A love triangle? Wait, a triangle now? I can see it. Stars practically erupted from her eyes. PVG, I can't. But Hana, I, I love you. But oh, my maidenhood. What are you going at with this? I slam my fork on the table. My look pleased with herself. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm just kidding. You're really cute with your blush. You, <laughs> you almost match your hair. But that's not fair at all. I beg to differ. I like my. <laughs> Still, I search my mind, eager to change the subject. That was an impressive scenario. What? What? No, it wasn't! I just made it up on the spot. Maya laughed nervously. Oh, so that girl I was talking to and uh, talking to me when we got separated? Maya told me the story of her past friendship with the girl that, uh, like, they were eternal arch nemesises. Apparently, they had some bad blood. I nodded, choosing to take the time to relax. Before I knew it, we were finished eating. We got up, tossed our trays together. As I headed towards the door, Maya hesitated. Hey, I forgot something back at the dorm. Oh, need help? Uh, no, no, I'm totally okay. I'm just gonna go get it. See you later, though, right? See you okay, later. Okay, see you in class. I wave and my sprinted off in the direction of the dorms. Alone again, I crossed my arms and headed back to Poppy Hall!